But the question that I have is, what if you don't fail? What if you don't fail? What if you actually succeed? I'm talking to you if you're listening, but I'm also talking to myself because this is what I have to tell myself every single day. What if you don't fail? What if this is the one thing that you need to do in order to succeed to get to that next level? What if this is the thing that you need to do that's gonna that's gonna open the door, that's gonna open the way for all your blessings, all your prosperity, all the things that you call into your reality? What if this is the, the one thing that you need to do? What if you don't fail? Listen, see, a lot of y'all see the reason why you're so afraid, the reason why you're so fearful, the reason why you feel like you're gonna fail is it's a learned behavior. Okay, you've been programmed to feel fear. You've been programmed to believe in worry. You've been programmed to believe in doubt. But listen, the reason why you think you're gonna fail is just the past behavior that you, you believe is real. But listen, your past failures is just an event. Your past failures is just feedback. Your past failures make you think wrongly, not that you are wrong, okay? It was just feedback. It was just letting you know that you did something wrong. And what happens is you internalize that as that you were wrong. No, that was just an event. Failure is just an event. It is just feedback. There's no way that failure can be a character trait. It's not a character trait. It's an event. It's information. It's letting you know that you did something wrong. It's letting you know that there is need for correction. If you make the correction, and then try again, you'll get further along on that journey, okay? You can't see the top of the staircase, but you have to believe that there is a top, okay? You have to start step by step, whatever that may be for you. Take the first step, the next step will appear. You take the next step, the next step will appear. If you fall back down, guess what? You got some feedback. Now you know how to step to the left, step to the right. When a baby falls down, when a baby's first learning how to walk, you don't just automatically disqualify that baby as not being able to walk. No, you let them try and try again until they get it, until they succeed. That's the same thing that you have to understand. That The reason why you fear failure is because you think that you're gonna fail again, and you will. You probably will, but you have to accept that as information. It doesn't mean that it's the end, okay? That's the difference between where you are and people who are successful, that they understand that failure is just an event. It's feedback, it's information. You take that information that you learn, then you apply it to the next step. You apply it to what you have to do to regroup, to get to the next level. You apply it to what it is that you're doing next, okay? It's just information. It's not that you're wrong. It's not that you're a failure. Failure can't be a character trait. You have to realize that the reason why you failed is because you lacked information. The reason why it didn't work out is because you lacked information. Once you acquire the new information, once you get that feedback from whatever failure that you experienced, get that feedback, acquire new information, get to the next level. It's simple. And also, you have got to stop doubting yourself, okay? Doubt is also just a learned behavior. It's just a learned behavior, okay? You always hear people talk about the good angel, the bad angel. Well, listen, whichever one that you entertain, whichever one that you feed, whichever one that you pay attention to is who's gonna win. Doubt is just the parts of your subconscious mind trying to warn you of the things that you should be aware of. Not that you should be afraid of, just that you could be aware of it and be able to sidestep it, move to the left, move to the right, gather information on how to overcome it. But you don't have to listen to it because it's not even real. It's just potential, it's potentiality. It doesn't mean that that is actually going to happen. It's just a potential reality that you can experience. And if you should experience it, this is what you need to be aware of in order to get the information to be able to prevent that from happening. And listen, you need to get away from anybody who is casting doubt on your life, who makes you doubt yourself, who makes you question yourself, who makes you question your goals, makes you question your beliefs. You need to get away from them and stop asking people who don't have what you wanna have, who, who's not doing what you wanna do, who is not being the type of person that you want to be, stop asking them because they don't know. So stop asking them because all they're going to do is cast doubt. All they're going to do is limit your beliefs. All they're going to do is limit your perspective. All they're going to do is tell you from their limited small perspective what they think. And they don't know because they don't even think. And this is not shade to anybody in your life. This is not shade to your mama, your daddy, your brother, your sister, your cousin, whoever. This is not shade to anybody. Okay, it's just the fact that the people who do not have what you want to have, the people who are not doing what you want to do, the people who are not being the type of person that you want to be, don't have the answers for you. So there's no point in talking to them about the things that you're trying to do. There's no point in telling them what you're trying to do. There's no point in asking for their advice because they don't know. Okay, they don't know. And all they're going to do is limit you and keep you in a small box that they think you should fit in. And the last thing is worry. Okay, I got news for you. And some of y'all, y'all ain't gonna like this, but listen, when you worry, you're praying for things that you don't want to happen, okay? Thought and emotion mixed together is a prayer. Thought and emotion mixed together is a prayer. And anytime that you're worrying, anytime that you are doubting, anytime that you're fearing, that's emotion, okay? And the thoughts that you're associating with those emotions mixed together is a prayer, okay? 
Thoughts and emotions are prayer. So when you worry, you're asking for the things that you don't want to have happen, happen. So instead of worrying, focus on things that you can control right now. Okay, focus on, on things that, that make you happier, feel grateful, focus, focus on, on things that move you towards progression. And if you do that, the rest will take care of itself. Always work out the way that they're supposed to, better than the way that you imagine them to be. So I ask you, what is on your heart? What is the thing that you wanna do? What is the thing that you feel passionate about? What is the thing that lights you up? What is the thing that makes you feel like a better person? Okay, whatever that may be, whatever it is that you're afraid to fail at, do it. Just do it. And your dreams will make room for you. Your goals will make room for you. Once you decide and once you start taking steps and moving in that direction, once you make it up in your mind that you're going to do what it is you're going to do, once you make it up in your mind that you are not going to fail, that you're just going to accept any discomfort as feedback and then progress from there, once you decide, it'll all work out for you. It will all work out because really the only thing that's stopping you from getting to the next level, the only thing that's stopping you from succeeding, the only thing that's stopping you is you and your negative thoughts and your fear and your worry and your doubt. That's the only thing that's stopping you. So it's time for you to reflect. It's time for you to get clear on the things that you want in your life. It's time for you to get crystal clear on the version of you that you want to become. So think about who that person would be if they didn't have those character traits. Okay, who would that person be? Well, how would they act? How would they move? How would they be? Think about who that person is, reflect on that person, and then go after your goals and your dreams. Live life on purpose. Live life with intentions. Live life without fear. Live life without worry. Live life without doubt and just do things and understand that failure is a part of the process, that is just information. That if you apply that information to what it is you're doing, you're gonna be better off in the end. All right, so it's time for you to start living life on purpose. It's time for you to start living life with some intention. It's time for you to give up attachment to outcomes, give up attachment to what people think, stop caring so much about what people think. Listen, I'm talking to you, but I'm also talking to myself, okay? This is a message that I need to hear from myself as well. It's time to stop caring about what people think and just start Start living life with a purpose though so, okay don't be afraid to start over i'm on my third or fourth life i don't know how many times i don't start over because i understand the importance of taking that feedback from those past failures those events and, and applying it to what's now okay so i don't have a problem with starting okay you start over by creating new rules for your life okay you start over by having new standards for your life just because just because you used to accept something before don't mean you have to continue to accept it today just because you used to move a certain way because you used to do things a certain way before don't mean you have to continue to do that today okay today is a new day and i set new standards in my life okay i set new standards i have new rules okay so listen, don't be afraid to start over because you can have more than what you have now because you can become more than what you are now, okay? Okay, that's it, that's all. I'll catch y'all in the next video.